Hey, this is Jeff from Road to Infamy Games. This is a game called Crypt, and it's a dice placement and set collection game, and I'm going to go through how to play. So this is a game where you're trying to collect the most coins, and you can do that by picking up these treasure cards. They have a coin value from 1 to 4, and there are six different types of suits that you'll be set collecting in order to pawn them off to the various collectors. So here are the collector cards. When you get these required cards, you can actually activate their bonus. Um, there's a flip icon for some of these, so you'll have to flip any treasure cards that you've owned in that collection in order to use that ability. There are A and B sides, so you can play with any combination you want. Um, then you have your servant dice. These are the dice that you're going to be placing on the treasure cards in order to claim them. And then it comes with first and last player cards. Everyone's going to get one turn to be placing their servant dice on the treasure cards, starting with the first player, and then finally the last player will only get to place dice onto a single card. So to set up the game, first you're going to be pulling cards out of the treasure deck that have the three and four icons if you're playing a two-player game, which is what I'm going to do here in this example. Then you're going to shuffle any remaining cards in your treasure deck. Each player is going to choose a set of colored dice. You're going to lay out all of your collectors in a nice little row. For your first game, we recommend that you play with all the A sides. And then you're going to roll your dice and the player with the highest roll gets to be the first player. And the player to their right will be the last player, but in a two player game, actually the exception is um, you will also start with the last player, so I'll get a turn, my opponent gets a turn, and then I'll get a second turn as the last player. So to play the game, the first thing you're going to need to do is reveal treasure cards according to the number of players. In a two-player game, you're going to set two cards face up and one card face down. So in turn order, starting with the first player, we're each going to take our servant dice, and we can choose any value on the die and place them on the treasure cards. Now the higher value I place, the more likely my servant will become exhausted and I won't be able to use it next round. So I'm going to place a 5 there and a 2 on this card here. And now my opponent Andrew is going to take his turn. And he can either place his dice on an open card or he can kick my dice out by playing a die with a higher value on it. All right. Now it comes back to me, because I'm the last player, I get one final turn and I can only play on a single card. Another thing that I can do is I can place two dice on the same card, or even three dice. As long as they are the same number on the dice, I can kick his die out uh, if my value exceeds his. Great, so now that we've all taken our turns, we're going to roll the dice and if, that, if the roll is less than the number that we played on the card, we're going to exhaust the servant. Um, so here I had a 5. I rolled a 6, so I actually get to keep that die. I'm going to roll these two 2s. I got a 1 and a 2, so I get to keep the 2, but the 1 goes in the box. This is where we're going to keep our exhausted dice. And Andrew's going to roll his dice. And cool, he gets to keep that. Now, no matter what the result of the dice were, you get to keep any cards that your servants were on, and you're going to keep them face down in front of you in columns. And now a way you can get your dice back is if you don't collect any treasure cards on a turn, you actually get all of your dice from the box back, and you can use them on future turns. Now the last step is you're going to just pass the first and last player cards to the left, and you're going to continue doing this until the treasure deck has run out of cards. So to continue playing, we're just going to lay out some more cards. Again, it's two face up and one face down for two player. And Andrew's the first player, so he's going to go ahead and set his dice. All right, so now I'm thinking about what I want to do on my turn. I already have one remains card, and I see there is another. And that would be great if I could pick that up. Um, not only is it worth four coins, but if I pick up a pair of those remains cards, I can get this ability, which lets me get all my dice back, which sounds pretty great. So to beat that four, I think I'm going to use both of my dice and place two threes. 
And then Andrew gets the final turn. All right. So now Andrew's going to roll his dice first, but he played two ones. One is the safe number. Um, you can't roll below a one, so he gets to take both of those cards for free. And I'm going to roll my dice. Wow, okay. So I get to keep both of those, and now I have uh, another Remains card. So I'm going to put this face down in front of me. Um, now at any point during the game, I can flip my two Remains cards to activate this bonus. So if I wanted to do that right now, I could. And then I would get to recover all of my dice from the exhausted pool. So at the end of the game, when this deck runs out, everyone's going to add up all of their coins on all the cards that they've collected plus any bonus coins from some of these collectors that yield coins, and you get one point for every unexhausted die that you have, and whoever has the most coins wins. Um, so that's pretty much it. It's a fast 20-minute game. We hope you enjoy it, and have fun playing.